Real quick before this video starts, I want to say thank you to uh, Jets. He said that you should grind for Dark Matter, not Damascus. Dark Matter is way better. So I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we're going to go for Dark Matter. Also, every time a new season drops, you guys know we sit here and we react to the Season 2 gameplay trailer, which this is, or the regular trailer, the cinematic trailer, which I didn't get a chance to because it came out a couple days ago when I was at work, actually, so I couldn't get a chance. Basically, what I'm saying is we're going to be doing it right now. Can't wait to see it. First time looking at it, I actually looked at it for like uh, 20 seconds, but then my, I realized I wasn't recording, but I'm, I'm good now, so let's do this. Look like we got a new Zombies map, too. A lot of green going on. For the whole like rebirth aesthetic, if that's still even a thing going on. Look, a new SMG. We're always getting new SMGs, dude. They're taking the modern warfare aesthetic of the game and just giving us a shit ton of uh, SMGs. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, we got. I don't even know if I'd call those multiplayer maps. Dude, driving a car through the goddamn. Uh... Oof. I'm not gonna lie, this shit looks fire. New little onslaught shit. This is like we're getting a couple new multiplayer maps. It's definitely like it's there in our face. Is that a dragon? What are we playing, dude? Ooh. That looked like the Warzone, the nuke. They, they've been teasing that shit for fucking months, dude. Oh, that's Verdansk! Oh, shit! <laughs> Let's go to good old Charlie Intel, see what he has for us for the roadmap. So a dark wave approaches to Verdansk. Uh, new multiplayer maps, we're getting uh, Apocalypse, uh, Golova, and Mansion. Three new maps? Oh no, that's for Gunfight. All right. Two Warzone modes, we have uh, Resurgence Extreme and Exploration. I don't know what this is. Seems like some type of capture the flag type shit. I like that they're breaking out and doing different things for Warzone. So that way, even if people just try it for the first time and it's brand new, they have something different to look forward to, you know? Then they have new multiplayer modes coming. That is Gun Game and Stockpile for Cold War, if I'm not mistaken. New Zombies Experience Outbreak. I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna stream this on Twitch, but if I do, then yeah. Ooh, also, we're getting new radioactive blueprints, which is amazing because I love radioactive camos and I hate the fact that I have to wait for a radio active camo when i get the dark matter uh new weapons we have the lc10 the e-tool which is just a shovel we have the hatchet we have the r1 shadow hunter zrg zoom or z-o-m-m -M, zoom i don't know oh wait that's a new sniper hold the fuck up and it's a sniper on the heavier side too which isn't bad dude i i don't mind i don't mind the pelanton the tundra's all right the mm, we're gonna let the the m82 stay in its place the barrett to let it rock we need that sniper that's kind of like the tundra but a little heavier but not slow when you aim in i'm not i'm not talking about like carbine speed or car speed but i'm talking at least just a little talking about a little just a little bit more so we can just go in like zoom in better and it'll be perfect Dude. We get that type of speed for this new sniper. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if I mentioned the Far 83, but that looks like a new assault rifle. We're definitely getting some new, a lot of new weapons to mess around with. Uh, we have a new battle pass with this guy being on the cover of it. New operators. These new operators actually look pretty cool. Naga, Mexis, Rybes, and Wolf. Uh, new Cold War slash Warzone thing. They're doing the Zombies Outbreak Challenge event. I guess. I mean, it, it's hyping up towards their Zombies mode and War, and, you know, there. So I like how they're going into Warzone and kind of like branching it out to, you know, get those other modes. 
molds, you know, a little bit of clout. Uh, also, they have new prestige levels, so that's going to be pretty cool capping off. I I'm trying my hardest to, you know, cap off. I don't think I'm going to end up hitting 300. Don't they reset us in the beginning of the season? How does that work? Anyway, however it works, that's what we have for uh, for the new season. I'm going to let it be known right now. When the new season does come out, I am going to go ahead. I don't know if it's going to be on my free time or in a series of videos, but I am going to go ahead and unlock a diamond for that sniper rifle and then go end up, you know, end up going back and finishing out tactical so then I can finish shotties and, you know, everything else. But whenever uh, a new sniper comes out, if I'm still on the dark matter grind, then I am going to go do a sniper and come back. I'm not technically a sniper. I wouldn't call myself a sniper, but since I do snipe, I figured that, you know, that I might as well stay on top of sniper rifles. Kind of lost that touch when I started doing, you know, videos for, uh, you know, for Modern Warfare. Yeah, this year I do want to, if I, even if I don't end up getting it, I at least want to stay on top of snipers. That's like my, my number one thing, you know? So since the whole thing happened with, uh, you know, Cold War and Warzone and the new, you know, season trailer shit, that's what I'm talking about in this video, but tomorrow I'll be talking about it. I'll actually talk about what I want to talk about. I have a nice little story time. Something already happened at work. Can you believe it? Come on. I really don't have any direction for the video. That's probably why I'm gonna end up showing off all these kills and these random ass flicks that I'm doing. This isn't even my shot. I don't even shoot like this, but I'm for some reason I'm trying it today. Oh fuck. I'm trying to like drag my shot for some reason. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's so fucking weird. It's not a bad shot though. I don't know. It's not like a bad thing to try. Like working on my flicks a little more. I'm not really a flickery kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? Right, I'm lying. All I do is flick. But it's not the point. Yeah, yo, next season's actually looking pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie. This whole thing for Warzone, I can't wait to see what that's about. You guys know, like this time, like when it comes to the Warzone events, I'm gonna try to stay on top of it, even if it's just in a video. Even if it's a four minute video. I'm still gonna like feature myself with something that has to do with Warzone. I want to actually be on it this month. I had a nice smooth day off today, so I'm kind of just chilling. I'm kind of just relaxing. I'm gonna be going in tomorrow and doing my thing until whenever I work again. I feel like my sensitivity is too slow. Like I feel like I'm pushing for the controller to move. I feel like it's way too slow. Maybe I just grown out of 8-8. Because 8-8 was my first sensitivity. Maybe I just grow like grew out of it a little bit. A little better. I don't I don't know. I'll have to play around with it a little more. I don't like going up more than two sensitivities at a time because then I feel all over the place. Yeah, but overall, basically, what I was trying to show off in this video video with these highlights the tundra isn't a bad gun but to, if we're gonna have something like this i guess i'll you know use the tundra as much as possible so i can really get used to the feel of it that when we do get this new sniper rifle it's not crazy like if you're sitting there trying to challenge yourself for whatever reason and you've been sitting here and using the barret the entire time then you're not gonna have a problem with any sniper rifle that comes your way if the barret's your main gun i have yet to meet somebody though where the barret is their primary gun as far as the next season i don't really have anything that i want i mean this season was solid overall at least for me i mean i i've been like i I've been on the game, but I've been like off and on the game at the same time. I went through a lot in season one as far as just like you know in the game and trying to figure out exactly what i want to do with this game in a place that i know i want to go with it, you know when it comes to this game then I'm, I'm pretty solid right now so season two is going to be mainly just like enjoying the season and just grinding for dark matter as much as possible as far as that that was fun i i feel like i popped off a little with the snipers that's the only time i'm going to use a sniper i literally only did it for the video i'm going to end up using tacticals for the rest of the day and just i've been watching shameless since last night i'm on episode three each episode is literally an hour like sometimes i'll drag it and say an episode's an hour but each episode or something's 40 minutes but these episodes are actually an hour long it's 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 <laughs> not a bad thing it's just something i gotta you know get used to again actually gotta watch yesterday's episode of riverdale because that is seems it's like it's gonna be pretty good as far as that that's gonna be it for me hopefully you guys did enjoy hit that thumbs up button if you guys did comment your favorite part of the video or any thoughts that you had in the video and uh yeah everybody's video peace